Let's maybe grab all the pieces of the truck here. And we'll just hide all this stuff for a minute. Uh, I think the next thing we'll do is start working on the horn up on the top here. Okay, now as you can see, some of it is blocked in this view by the uh, pipe there, but we'll just kind of wing this. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is maybe work on the bigger piece. Let's maybe grab a cylinder and we'll just draw this out in the back view over top. Okay, give it some thickness. And we'll just move that forward to the left view here and try to line it up. Okay, it's going to be a little off in this view, but I'm just going to move it down so it lines up uh, properly. Okay, we'll get rid of these height targets. We don't really need those. And we will turbo smooth this as well, so 18 sides should be fine. We don't need any cap segments. So we'll just assign our material there and convert to Edible Poly. And we'll get rid of the front and back polygons. Just delete those out. And we'll go to border, grab the back border here. And in the left view, we'll just uh, kind of shape this out. Okay, so we'll bring it over like that. And it's going to go to scale and just scale it down on the triangle here. All right, we'll just kind of follow the blueprint shape. So shift drag it back again and scale it down. Okay, one more time here. And for this one, we'll pull it all the way back here and scale it down. Okay, that'll give us basically the horn shape that we're looking for. Uh, we also need some polygons obviously on the inside, so let's grab the front border again. Go into the back view. And we'll just uh, hold down shift and scale this in a little bit here on the triangle. And it doesn't have to be too thick, maybe something like that. Okay, and we'll just extrude the edges in the same uh, in the same way as we did it for the outside. Okay, so back in the left view here, let's hold down shift and with the move tool, just drag it back and line up each of the segments here. Okay, so let's scale it down like that. Pull it back again. And scale that one down. And one more time here. And we'll close this up quite a bit. Okay, like that. And we don't need to worry about capping the end there. You'll never be able to see inside there. So it'll basically be the horn. Okay, and let's maybe add a couple of edges on the front here so that we can harden this up when we smooth it. Let's just do a ring on this edge here maybe. And a connect. And let's do two segments maybe with no pinch, no slide. Okay, we'll also maybe add one on the outside and inside here. So let's ring this edge. Connect it up with one segment. And just slide that towards the front. And about 90 or so should be good. We'll do the exact same thing here on the inside. And just pull that towards the front. And we'll do about 90 as well. Okay, we'll put a turbo smooth on here and see how it looks. Okay, that should be fine. So I'll take care of one of the pieces for now. And we have a couple of other uh, pieces that uh, fit on here and also kind of bolt onto the top of the truck here. So let's start with this front piece. And it's going to be a little hard to see here on the blueprints because it's so blurry. Uh, so we're just going to have to wing this. Uh, let's maybe get another cylinder here first. Okay, so back in the back view. Grab another cylinder there. And we'll just draw that out in the center. And we'll figure out the size in a second, just give it some height. Back into the left view here, we'll just move this forward. Okay, we'll line it up right here at this edge. Okay, we'll take the radius up a little bit more as well. And the height. Okay, so just match it up as close as you can. And we'll try to line up the center edge here with the center edge on the horn part. And it looks like we're pretty much right on. Let's also put a material on that. Okay. 
and we're actually going to pull the leg here out of this piece so let's maybe leave it at 18 sides for now we're dead we'll poly and we'll go to the edge here and just drag right through the side edges and do a connect with one segment and let's move that forward a bit to about there where this edge comes up okay and then we'll go underneath here and select the middle polygon at the front okay and just check to make sure you actually have that in the center all right and in left view here we'll just extrude this out and we'll just do say 10 and hit ok and then we'll just uh, pull it down with the move tool the rest of the way okay I'm gonna go quite a bit longer than we need and we'll chop it off in a second here alright so let's get out a polygon and we'll go down a quick slice and we'll just chop it off say right here turn off quick slice back into polygon and we'll just select those bottom five polygons and delete them Okay, and let's maybe grab the bottom border here around the hole. And we'll just maybe shift drag this out to give it a little bit more detail. So we'll hold down shift here and pull it down. And then we'll scale it out a little bit just on the triangle there. Okay, and let's maybe just uh, adjust this a bit. I'm just going to give it a little bit more of a scale on the X here, make it a little wider. And let's maybe shift drag it down one more time on the Z here. And that should work fine. Okay, so I'm not really going to worry about lining it up with the edges on the blueprint right now. We'll just kind of uh, do it uh, whatever way we can and then we'll uh, try to fit it into the truck later on. Okay, so let's maybe go to Polygon here. And let's grab this front poly. Let's maybe do an inset on this one. And let's take this up. Let's do about three or so. And okay, and we'll just extrude this right in. Okay, so let's extrude it in like that. Doesn't really matter. And with that polygon selected there at the back, I'm just going to uh, hold down control and click on edge. And we'll give those edges there a tight chamfer. And I think we can maybe just uh, chamfer these edges down. Alright, let's grab the four around the leg here. We'll do a loop on those. Come up to the top here and we'll just also select the four uh, around where it attaches. Okay. And let's maybe give that a chamfer. And let's actually uh, cancel that for a second. Let's also get this edge here. So we'll loop that one. And we'll chamfer it down all at once. Let's do maybe about 0.25 on that and OK. And I think I'll just chamfer these edges down as well. So let's grab this one, loop it, and chamfer. We'll tighten that up a little bit more. And the same with this one here. OK, let's go around the back. So we grab this back polygon and let's actually just inset this in. Gonna take it down quite a bit here. And then we'll control click vertex with that polygon, select it. And we'll just weld these all into um, one vert here. Okay, so we'll just take this up until they snap together and hit OK. And then we'll check for this uh, back edge down. Okay, about 0.3 or so should be good. And we'll also chamfer this inner edge down. 
And I'm not worried too much about this piece. It's such a small detail on the truck. I'm just going to go pretty quick on it. Let's actually maybe throw a torso speed on. Let's see how it looks. And I wasn't planning on smoothing it out with the turbo smooth, but I think that looks okay. So let's maybe just uh, leave the turbo smooth on that piece. Okay, so let's start working on this back piece where the horn goes into. All right, it's blocked uh, here again by the pipe, but we'll just uh, try to wing it. So let's go back into the front view, or the back view, sorry. And we'll grab another cylinder here and just draw that out in the center and give it a little bit of height and we'll just move it forward in the left view okay right to about there and for the radius we look pretty close let's do about 10 or so and we'll take the height up a little bit more and we'll also leave this one maybe at uh, let's do 20 sides maybe on it and apply our blue shader. Okay, so we'll do pretty much the same process here. Let's convert this to a poly. Get rid of this back polygon. Let's also get rid of the front one maybe. And we'll just extrude the back border here to get the detail that we need. All right, so back on the left view, hold down shift, stretch that back and scale it up. And we'll extrude it one more time here. Let's do about there. And for the front here, let's maybe extrude this in a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the back view, hold down shift, and just extrude that in. All right, let's see if we can maybe just give it a little bit more detail. So let's shift drag this back, the front border in like that maybe and let's maybe scale it in here holding shift with the back view again maybe just a bit like that and we'll just kind of pull this out so I'm going to hold down shift and move it out and we'll come in a little bit past the front edge there and we'll just scale it till it closes up here okay so scale it down pretty uh, close to being closed up and we'll control click vertex and just weld those together into one point. Okay, let's maybe just give this edge here a chamfer. Give it a little bit uh, of a different detail. Take that up a bit, maybe like that. Let's do about two. And that should work fine. Okay, we'll also come around the back here and maybe close this up. All right, so we'll scale it in. Control click vertex and weld it. All right, I'm just trying to figure out if we should um, chamfer these edges or if we should add support edges. We're probably going to need to turbo smooth this piece as well obviously so let's maybe add some support edges to this one rather than chamfering just in case we need to adjust it. It's a lot easier um, if you have edges you can move around rather than having to redo the chamfers. All right, let's start right here and we'll ring that. Let's connect it up and let's do two segments. We'll pitch those out. Let's do about 90 on that and same thing here maybe Maybe do about the same, 90 on that one. And let's grab the front edge here, do a couple there as well. We'll take this one down a little bit more. And on the inside as well. And let's take that back up. About 90 again should be good. Okay, we also need to add one on the inside here. So I'm just going to grab that back edge, ring it, 
and connect it up and we'll take that down a little bit more. Okay, and for this piece here, let's do the exact same thing. And let's maybe leave that back a bit just so it's a little bit softer here. Let's actually just do one segment for now. Slide that up to the front. Let's do about 80 on that one. And we're going to need one at the back here too, so I'm going to ring this edge again and connect it. And we'll slide this one down. About 95 or so should be good. And let's add one here. Let's just do two. And we'll pinch those out a bit. Let's do about 55 and OK. And for the front here, we'll just inset these polygons here. So let's go into left view. Let's drag right through these front ones. Deselect the side ones holding Alt. And we'll just inset those to get the support edge around the front. And let's go over to the back here. We'll do the same thing on the back. Just do an inset there, take it up a little bit more. Okay, and we need one more support edge on uh, this section here. So I'll ring and connect, and let's do two, pinch them out a little bit more, about 75 or so should be good. And we'll see how that looks with the Turbo Smooth on. Okay, that should be fine. Okay, we also have a leg coming out of this back piece here that uh, goes down to the truck. Um, rather than trying to pull that out, which we could probably do, let's just maybe see if we can take the front leg and clone it back there. All right, so I'm gonna grab that front piece, we'll turn off Turtle Smooth, drop back down at the polygon. And let's grab all the polygons here on the leg. And we'll just go down and detach these. Okay, so open up Detach. Uh, make sure you have Detach this clone checked. Hit OK to that. And let's turn Turbo Smooth back on for that piece. Reselect the polygons there. Let's center the pivot to the piece. And we'll just drag that back. And kind of modify it into the shape that we need here. All right, so I'm going to move it up quite a bit. Maybe about there. And let's adjust the size a little bit. So back into vertex here. Let's shorten this up to bring these down. Gonna leave it up a little bit so it's in, inside the uh, back piece here. And let's maybe move these forward. Let's also maybe make this a little bit wider so it looks a little bit uh, more unique. Okay, we'll see if that looks okay. Okay, I think that should work fine. Let's maybe try smoothing it out. And even though that's just sitting there intersecting this piece, I think that should be fine. Okay, so one more thing we need to do is add a little um, kind of piece that's on the bottom of the leg here where it actually sits on the truck. All right, so I'm just gonna make something up quick here. Let's select maybe this front piece. Let's hide everything else. Find and select it. And let's go to the top view here and zoom in on the bottom of the leg. And let's maybe do this out of a plane maybe. Gonna draw one out around the leg. Uh, something like that should work. Get rid of these segments for now. And just try to center it there. Let's also move it up. Okay, we'll just push that right into the bottom. And we'll give it a little bit of a spin here. Okay, let's add a little bit more detail to it. 
Let's maybe rotate this back straight for a second, actually. Okay, let's go for the suitable poly. Let's maybe add some edges to it. So I'm just going to grab those two, we'll do a connect. And let's do maybe four with no pinch, no side. And we'll maybe just curve the top over here a bit. So let's grab these polygons here, we'll just pull them back. And maybe just the two corner ones here, we'll pull this back a little bit farther to kind of curve out the front. And for the back here, we'll do a similar thing. Let's maybe pull these up. Okay, let's also maybe give it a little bit more shape here. I'm just going to grab the back verts and scale them out on the X. Just make it a little bit wider. Maybe a little bit less. Maybe pull these back a little bit more. And we'll rotate it back into position now that we have it shaped out. Okay, I'm just going to move it a little bit more back. Let's just grab those back first. We'll just stretch it a little bit longer here so we have a little bit more room. And let's maybe add a loop through here. To do connecting that with one segment, we'll slide that down a bit towards the back. All right, just like that, so it's a little bit behind the leg there. Let's maybe get rid of this center polygon and let's go into the top view, grab all the polys here, and we'll just do an inset on these. Let's take it down. Let's do about 0.15 on that, just so we have a support edge running around the uh, entire top. Okay, then we'll select the outer border here, and just shift drag it down in the left view to get some thickness. Okay, and let's add one more support edge just around the top uh, edge here, so we'll bring the side edges, another connect, and just bring that up to the top. And we'll do it pretty tight here. But negative 85 should be good. Okay. And then we'll just put a turtle smooth on and see if this looks okay. Okay, I think that should be fine to finish the leg off. Alright, so let's unhide all. And we'll just clone this piece to the back leg as well. So shift drag it over as a copy and we'll have to make it a little bit bigger here let's maybe uh, hide this piece of the truck first so we can see what's going on okay so let's just scale this up and we'll just adjust the position here Probably bring it down a little bit more. Okay, and just make sure that's pushed up into the leg a bit so it's intersecting. Okay, so I'm just going to grab all the pieces of the horn here, one height all, and we'll just uh, kind of adjust the uh, height here so it fits on top of the truck. Let's just bring it up slightly. Okay, maybe something like that. 
and we're going to the left view here and we're just going to need to adjust this front leg a little bit so let's grab that base piece and we'll just slightly rotate a little bit more so it better follows the lines on the truck okay and I think that'll pretty much take care of the horn so let's maybe group it let's go to grab all the pieces here deselect these and we'll just group that call it horn and we can just flip it over onto the other side here okay so let's go to the hard tab we'll make sure the pivot point centered and we'll zero it out on the x-axis so let's right click the move tool and zero that out drop the button there and let's do another mirror as a copy on the X and OK. Okay, so let's see how this looks. And I think that should be good.